What is up, people? Hope you're doing great. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And for this review, very excited about this one, we have an Oktoberfest beer. And uh, apparently this is the world's first ever Oktoberfest beer. So I thought, what a way, uh, great way to get started on the old Oktoberfest beers, even though it's not October. I couldn't resist. I see it on Beers of Europe and I picked this up. A uh, bottle of Spatten Oktoberfest beer. Uh, Us Munchen, it says in the bottle, whatever that bloody means. Um, 500 ml bottle, it's 5.9% ABV this one, so it's stronger than your regular Spatten. And um, yeah, it cost me £3.49 on uh, Beers of Europe. You know, it's an Oktoberfest beer. It's stronger, it's high quality, it's going to be expensive. Hopefully it's worth it. Um, I've never tried this particular beer before. There's a little look at your bottle cap there. Very nice. Um, it's just a nice bottle in general, isn't it? Quite old fashioned and looking, but I do like it. I do like it. Uh, anyway, let's uh, crack her open and see what she's all about. Uh, I gotta love the old German beers, especially the Oktoberfest ones. It's an exciting time of year for beer lovers, isn't it? Especially if you like your lagers. Right, let's get in the glass. If you've tried this one, guys, how do you rate it compared to the other Oktoberfest beers that you might have tried? Or just what do you think of it? Do you like it or dislike it? I'm looking forward to finding out what I think of it. Right, here she is. Beautiful golden colour. Looks lovely in the glass. Here you go. Got sort of medium levels of carbonation, I would say, for a lager. A little bit of cold haze. That is, that's, it's not actually a hazy beer. Here we go. I think you can see that carbonation. It's got a very nice fluffy white head on it. Yeah, it looks like a nice lager. Nothing special. Just looks like I'm running a meal. Nice lager with a decent head. Right, let's get the nose in there and check out this Oktoberfest beer aroma. It doesn't actually have a massive aroma to it. A uh, little bit floral. Some sweet malts, more like a bready sweetness. And like a little really light level hint of spice. But yeah, you know, lagers don't have the biggest aroma, do they? And this one, despite being an Oktoberfest beer, is really no exception. Uh, quite a weak, but okay smelling aroma. Perhaps slightly disappointed, but don't matter what it smells like, does it? it matters what it tastes like. So let's uh, chuck her down the neck and see what she's all about. Cheers, everybody. Or uh, Proust, Proust, if you're German. Gosh. Head is also uh, dissipated quite a bit. Look. But it's quite strong. That's, that tends to happen with the stronger beers. Anyway, let's get down the neck. It's very nice, very, very nice. It's um, got like a kind of a medium body to it for a lager. It does taste quite strong, actually. It's not particularly well hidden, that ABV, but it tastes like smooth, but strong on the first impressions. First impressions, very nice, quite flavoursome. Uh, let's go in again and uh, see if we can pick out what them flavours are. So yeah, it's decent. Really clean tasting, super, super crisp as you would expect, really refreshing as you would expect again from a lager. But yeah, this is so clean tasting compared to the lagers you get over here in the UK. I mean, it's just when you try a lager like this, it makes you realize just how bad they really are. Um, yeah, we do have to put up with some crappy beers here, but particular lagers. Oh. It does taste quite strong, but it's quite easy drinking for the strength. Probably dangerously so. We've got beautiful malts in this beer. that just kind of 
coat the inside of your uh, uh, mouth. I was going to say palate then, but that's a bit posh for me, isn't it? As you sort of coat the inside of your mouth, um, there's a slight sweetness in the malts. It's kind of like a mixture of like a bready slash caramel malt for me. Um, but it's not too sweet. There's just the perfect amount of sweetness in this for me, which is one of the things I'm really enjoying about this beer because most lagers, I sort of try them and I think, oh, the malts are a bit too sweet, but it's okay. Or, the, you know, I sort of pick at the malts a bit, but this one, I think it's got the sweetness spot on. After them beautiful, really beautiful malts at the start, I'm getting like a, a light floral sort of hit from the hops, I believe. It is very light, but it is noticeable. Um, yeah, it's like floral, grassy sort of hops. Adds a slight bit of this on the end. It just cuts down that sweetness from the malts perfectly. Um, it's got a little bit of spice as well on the finish. Uh, it's, it's a really nice beer. Do I think it's worth £3.50 a bottle? I don't know. I don't know. Because um, when you think you could get perhaps two bottles of something not quite as good, perhaps it ain't. Perhaps it ain't, but it's still very nice. Perhaps it's a bit overpriced. As I say, you could get two bottles of Pilsner Quell or something like that, probably for about the same price. Um, but then again, it's got that ABV in it. Uh, you know, I think it's worth it because for me, you're not really going to session this, even though you probably could. It's just a nice little treat and it? it's a special beer. It's an Oktoberfest beer. So yeah, I think it is worth it. I've changed your mind. Um, Slightly drying on the finish. I really like it. Perhaps I was expecting it to be a little bit better, even though I can't really pick a fault in it. Um, but I think that's more down to my preferred style. I like a pills and I like a bitter, I like a nice bitter finish on my um, lagers. Um, and this doesn't really have that, but it's good at what it does, I suppose. It just depends what you like. But for me and my personal tastes, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's a very, very nice lager. A little bit on the expensive side. And like I say, it's not my preferred style of lager. But I do appreciate it for what it is. And I think most people will really enjoy this one. Let me know if you've tried it, guys. What do you, what do you make of it? Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button. If you've enjoyed the review, of course. And consider subscribing to the channel if you like these sort of videos of me drinking beer. Because that's what you're going to see if you subscribe. And until uh, the next one, guys, bye-bye, darlings.